Okay, here's an unboxing. I just got this, um, the Freewell Wide Angle Anamorphic Adapter, which seems to be hard to find in stock. Definitely when you try to buy each part of these separately, meaning if you try to buy the Wide Angle separately from the Anamorphic, I think that's virtually impossible to find, probably because the Pocket 3 is coming out and Freewell no longer makes this. So, in keeping with my hoarding, I went ahead and got this kit. Um, I'm filming now at 4K, 30 frames per second in decent alike, and with the wide angle adapter that comes with the creator combo. And I am curious to try to play around with my Pocket 2 more, um, specifically with the 180 rule. So the... <laughs> Hopefully this is not too fragile. The ND filters is the reason why I got this. And I'll be able to sub out the stock wide angle adapter, the DJI wide angle adapter for the um, Freewell, this Freewell version. Good Lord, I've like no, trying to pull the tab on this, no um, muscle control ironically for who I am. The, um, and, you know, I just, I, I love the idea of an anamorphic adapter. In fact, you know, I have one, uh, a lens adapter for my, my iPhones. And went and got a, a gimbal uh, Crane M2 for that. So I could use the anamorphic adapter just because I just think the whole idea of lens flare and everything else is pretty cool. And I, I want to be my, my own J.J. Uh, Abrams. So cool, just opened it up finally. Um, comes with a packet. What's in here, pray tell. Oh, free well sticker. Oh, and a nice little tutorial, video tutorials and a QR code for it to try to learn how to do use it. It comes with a little cleaning bag, a cleaning cloth. And cool, a nice, this is, I actually had the, the ND filters for the Pocket 1 that I uh, sold and pretty much never used because I had, you know, really did not understand videography, any of that stuff. I had other bigger fish, fish to fry. So now I'm trying to go back and relearn stuff that I should have learned in the first place. But you know, everyone, everyone learns at their own pace and, uh, you know, I was inundated with the crap, I, other crap I was trying to learn. So here we are, um, opens it up. It comes with a nice case, which basically holds all the stuff in. And man, it doesn't do it justice, like how freaking thin these ND filters are. But they have to be because they have to fit on, I need my readers to see this stuff, um, because they have to fit in that tiny little slit. I mean, if I had my ZV-1 or my ZV-E-10, you could probably see it, but man, it's got to fit in that tiny little area. I mean, no kidding, at 52 years old, my vision is going, and I um, really need readers for this. Holy cow. So I'm going to go swap out that wide angle lens for this wide angle lens. Let's see if this works okay. So if you can see how much is in the frame with my pictures. In fact, I'm going to tilt it up a little bit. Weird. Why isn't it tilting? I guess it's all the way up. Oh, there it goes. Weird. Didn't want to move. Um, though I guess I could have tilted the tripod. Okay, here we go. So you kind of see that. Any difference? Um, the magnet strength felt more or less the same. The magnets on these are, are not very strong, and that's the stock the stock one. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it is. Oh, that's kind of cool. So on the on the in the case, there's actually a metal plate that sits recessed inside the foam cutout. And that's what this, you can hear it kind of click in there. 
um, that's what that sits in. So that's the wide angle adapter without any ND filters. I'm gonna go outside and goof around on the slack line and do some muscle ups. Um, and now I just got my fingers all over this and that's where the, the handy dandy filter cloth comes in. So let's try the anamorphic lens. Okay, so you can see that and my head, my oval head and see how much it gets squished in a minute. How's that look? Actually everything, yeah, everything should be stretched out and need to squeeze it down to the proper aspect ratio, but that's the cinem the anamorphic lens and I'll try to de-squeeze that. Yeah, you can tell my, like, my head's squished in. And so I guess when you get the black bars, it goes, Bleh. but that's it. It's, uh, it's, you know, free will makes some nice stuff. It's legit. You know, again, I, people's complaint that complains that this case should be a little bit more robust given how important it is, but, uh, I guess I really can't argue with that either. But uh, yeah, that's the unboxing. Okay, this is anamorphic with a ND8 filter on. I've got it set to one over 60 and I auto ISO. So now I'm changing light conditions. I'm going outside, seeing how it looks. Because, oh, actually I need to go back inside to go get my slack lock plate but how does that look um i'm going to be playing on that thing the slack line in a minute anamorphic style okay so this is nd16 at 1 over 60. it's not as overexposed wow my bounce is pretty good today Now it's kind of like over, it's underexposed. Now I think. Whoa. Okay. Woo. Anamorphic lens. Let's see if it has any lens flare. Let's pull the See a little bit. Oh, I see a little bit. lens flare with the oh, I see it that's pretty cool well should be a lens flare with that one